What's up guys, I'm Flacco Leche, and in today's video, we're going to be checking out this dock from a company called Funalot. This is their Steam Deck docking station. Uh, now, they were cool enough to send this over to me, so a big shout out to them. Today's video, we're just going to be checking out, I'm going to show you guys how it works. Uh, and of course, if you want to pick one up, I'll leave a couple links down in the video description below in case you are interested. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this dock. So I've been an actual Steam Deck owner uh, for a really long time. I was actually in the first wave of Steam Decks in Q1. So I had mine for a while and I'll show you guys my setup. My original setup was just this dock right here or this little holder right here. And I had to pair it up with this like anchor adapter. Uh, but this is pretty much a pretty clunky design. I wasn't a big fan of it. And I was looking forward to a company coming out with the docking station. So that kind of brings us here to a uh, funnel lot stocking station now uh the first thing you'll probably say is valve did finally come out with their official steam dock uh, or this dock for the steam deck but that basically is more than double the cost of this dock right here and you're pretty much not getting anything extra in fact i think you're actually losing out on some features uh, i think maybe you're only getting an extra display port and of course a usb 3.1 instead of 3.0 but i don't think you'll have much use out of that anyway anyway getting back to the dock um if we take a look at it it's actually going to have all the connections you're going to really need uh it is going to have a usb c for power uh, you're going to have hdmi 2.0 and then you can have three usb 3.0 ports and then along the side here you are going to have a one gigabit ethernet port uh so in case you want to put everything uh connected to your dock and then pretty much use your steam deck as if it's your desktop machine and it's pretty simple uh, to get all set up in fact let's go ahead and switch camera angles and i'll go ahead and show you guys how simple it is to get set up with this docking station with your steam deck all right, so getting set up with the docking station is super simplistic. You're just gonna go ahead and slap your Steam Deck on the actual dock itself. And then of course we have the USB-C cable that's gonna plop right over here and connect to the actual Steam Deck. And it's that simple. Now, if you have any peripherals connected to it, such as an external drive or ethernet, it's actually gonna all hook up automatically and work perfectly with your Steam Deck. And here's a back angle of my Funnelot Steam Deck dock all hooked up. So as you can see, I've got an ethernet cable, I've got an adapter for my keyboard and mouse, I have an HDMI cable, and then of course I've got USB-C providing power to my Steam Deck while I simultaneously use it in docking mode. And here goes my Steam Deck setup all hooked up in docking mode. And as you guys can actually see, I've got a ton of stuff going on here. I've actually got it hooked up to a 4K monitor and I can use it just like a regular desktop computer. I can browse the internet, watch some YouTube videos. I can even launch Steam and maybe load one of these games. Now, of course, I couldn't actually play at this 4K resolution, but what I could do actually is I could actually load up a cloud game or a game running on cloud gaming, and I could actually play Cyberpunk in 4K on my Steam Deck right here on my screen. I've actually got a controller hooked up to it, so I've got my Xbox synced wirelessly, or I have my Xbox controller synced wirelessly, and as you guys can see, I can still navigate, and I, I can actually play games at this resolution. Now, another piece of gear that they sent over is actually this uh, case for the Steam Deck. So this thing is actually pretty cool. So number one, it keeps your Steam Deck protected as uh, you know, if you do have a Steam Deck, presumably you're traveling with it. I don't do too much traveling with mine, but I think it's got another trick up its sleeve that actually, wow, that was kind of loud, but it actually makes it super useful. So this actual case has a stand inside of it. Now, this is something I would use regardless if I'm outside or inside, uh, but it's pretty cool. It has a stand that actually can allow you to um, you know, stand up your Steam Deck pretty much anywhere you are. So if you do, if you are anything like me and maybe you use an Xbox controller hooked up to your Steam Deck sometimes to so just use it in sort of that kickstand mode, it's actually a really cool way to do things. Or if you're playing like multiplayer games on the go, you have that ability. Uh, but yeah, this overall, it does have a lot of cool uh, flexibility and versatility. And one thing to note is all the cutouts, right? So you're going to get ventilation cutouts, which is perfect because you don't want any of that stuff cut off. So uh, the intake and the outtake or the output is actually right here and here you're also going to have uh, protection over your volume up and down icons as well as your power button and then you have freedom here uh, for for the indication light and also your USB-C port and of course your SD card slot so you have access to all of these things you also keep your Steam Deck for the most part protected on the back but you do have a really cool and convenient kickstand right here in the back so this is also a pretty cool device by the guys over at Funnelot. 
But yeah, that's about it. Just a real quick product showcase here in this video, guys. Uh, definitely, uh, the guys are at Fun A Lot making some really cool stuff for the Steam Deck. Uh, this case is super duper useful, like I said, especially for when you're kind of just plopping up and throwing your Steam Deck somewhere. And this dock is definitely a lifesaver with all its inputs to get connected to your Steam Deck. It's something that I use pretty much uh, all the time. But uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, check out the links in the video description below. As I mentioned earlier, if you do want to pick up any one of these items, uh, once again, guys, my name is Franco Lecce. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one.